what are you allowing your children to watch on television? Are you watching what your children is doing? Are you paying attention to them? Are you really, like, taking care of your kids? Like, are you really raising them the right way? Because a lot of people swear up and down out here that, in this world, that they just great parents. Oh, I'm the best mom in the world. I'm the best dad in the world. Why? Because you, you bought them a Happy Meal from McDonald's? Because you bought them an outfit? Some shoes? You got You got their hair cut? Got their hair done? You do one thing for them. And I'm just speaking for the ones who, who are absent. The ones who don't live in the same household as their children. As their young children. And only see them like once a month. I'm talking to the ones who... I'm, I'm not speaking to the to the ones who, who wants to see their kids. But having a hard time to. No, I'm speaking to the ones who don't really take... Who don't take care of their kids. Don't pay attention to what their kids is doing. Don't pay attention to what their kids is watching on television and watching what they're doing in their personal life. Well, you don't got you don't really got a personal life if you if you still a minor. Uh, I mean that's just to be honest. You don't really have a personal life when you're a minor. You your life has to be has to be watched. Your life has to be you know you have to have that parental figure in the household. And when you think about it, majority of these people in this world are not raising their kids. They're not doing what they're supposed to do with their kids. They're not paying attention to what their kids is watching on television. Because these kids out here, y'all, oh my gosh. These kids are getting out of hand. They getting out of hand. It's sad to see what's going on with the kids. And it's just showing you that they don't got no parental guidance. Why? Because the parents don't got no guidance from the Most High. Yahshua, Jesus Christ. The Most High don't, I mean, uh, the, the parents don't got no guidance either. Don't, I mean, they don't got no, no guidance. They wasn't raised right. They did what they wanted to do. They did what, they did what. They had to, what they feel like they had to do. Prostitution or something. Drug dealers, gang bangers, in and out of prison. And you got the kids coming up behind them that's going down the same path. Their kids is going down the same path. I mean, what's going on? It's dangerous. It's a, I mean, Satan, we already got to know this. We have, we, I mean, this is important to know. Satan, that devil, your adversary, not your friend, your adversary, your enemy. He, he is watching and working. He's working hard. Got people working for him and he's working hard. The Bible says that he's walking to and fro like a wrong line, seeking whom he may devour. But you got many of these people out here who's not paying attention to that, not paying attention to, uh, not paying attention to Satan. And Satan's main target right now, his main target, okay, is one, children. It's a child. Well, actually, no. Children not not number one. I'm gonna say the chosen ones. He really don't like us at all. <laughs> he he hates us and children. He is coming after the children because if you can start it in them at a young age, they will they will grow up and still be that same way. But you got many parents out here who not teaching their children to act a, to to act a, a a good way when they're going out in, in public. Many parents don't want to whoop their children. And this is why I say it's important that you pay attention to what your children is doing. Because it's it's more 
kids that's that's getting killed. Teenagers want to join gangs. Do all this stupid mess that's going on in this world. And it's going to continue to go on until somebody officially put a stop to this. And and going and be like, whoever is game banging, I wish that they, they would do something. I wish that, that something like that would happen. I'm going to hit a Charleston White moment real fast. I wish that they would go online and just scroll, pull these officers, would scroll through online and see who up there throwing up gang gang signs and who promoting gangs that, that the police officers is familiar with and go and lock their they butts up. Teenagers put them in jewelry. Grown people put them back in prison. Oh, shoot. Men and women. Because it seems like women wants to be men more nowadays. Uh-oh. Oh my, you 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 are are getting out of line. Well, that's fine with me, and I'm and I'm gonna stay out of line. Then, too many women are want want to become like men nowadays. Stay in your place. Stay in your place, please. But this video ain't, ain't about y'all. I mean, good thing that I did mention that because you got women. Who are single moms. Okay. There's a lot of single moms out here. And with these single moms. They got kids. Okay. They got kids. It's, it may be hard on them. They may be working a job. But the kids and the bills. And all this stuff is taking all their money. Struggling. Trying to make ends meet. No daddy in the house. So guess what's going to happen. Kids going to raise themselves. Go out there in the streets. The world is going to raise them. Let's put it like that. Ooh. And when the world raise your kids, they in trouble. They in trouble. If the world is raising your kids. Because if the world is raising your kids, oh, my goodness. Oh, gosh. I'm telling you. It's not, it's, it's not going to be pretty. That's not a good thing. That's not because if they raising your kids, this world is going to teach your kids some wicked, demonic stuff. That's why pornography is so promoted. More people join the porn because they don't know the real meaning behind this pornography stuff. They don't know this. And once again, I mean, they're blinded to it. Satan blinds the minds of the unbelievers. But and, and once again, a lot of people in this world, you can tell them the truth. You can tell them what's going on. But if they if they already making money off of it, you gonna have a, you gonna have a real hard time even even saying saying hi to them. You gonna have a hard time trying to reach them because especially with that money in in their face, they ain't trying to hear a freaking words you saying. I mean, they by you going up to somebody and trying to reach them. Like a porn star or a drug dealer or a rapper or something. If you're trying to reach them, they're gonna look at you like like you you um uh disrespecting them. Like you like you challenging them to a fight or something. That's that's how they're gonna look at you. Shoot, I, I used to try to reach my family members and they used to look at me like like I just told them to go and jump off of uh off a big building or something. But we're we're looked at as the bad ones. But we got kids, okay, who are, what they're doing is they're on this technology. Heavy. Technology is getting heavy. I remember me growing up, I'm only 25, but me growing up, um, when I was younger, I remember the, the well, when I was younger, flip phones was, was only in style. It was only flip phones, like. I didn't get my first phone until about sixth grade. Six uh yeah, sixth grade. And it was a, a flip phone. What was it? Incognito. It was a no no it wasn't. It was a razor. Then I got the incognito. The incognito, the, the first touchscreen phone. See that's that's how it was. And and what they was coming out with, they was coming out with, with IMAX. I remember, I remember the uh, very first iPod. When they made the iPod, touchscreen started. Then years, years and going, 
and going by, start making the, the big iPads. I mean, the, the um bigger iPods. Then iPads, iPhones, and stuff. iPhone just blew it out the water. Everybody got an iPhone. <laughs> For real. But this technology is growing. It's growing and growing and growing. And what's happening is technology has taken over the world. Yes, it has taken over the world. This world has ran off of technology. Now it's going to a cashless society. And in a little bit, you ain't going to be able to use cash anywhere. I really don't carry cash in me anyway, but you ain't going to be able to use cash anywhere. About a point blank period. These places that I live at, or uh well this my apartment building, they got it where you um pay your pay your rent online. They got it to where other buildings do too. Pay car notes online, that's that's been happening. Pay bills online. That's I mean, all this stuff is happening online. And with your kids going on there looking at these movies, looking at these videos on YouTube and all this stuff, and they seeing all of this. It's sad what's going on. Little girls want to go online and, and going to see women naked. Women naked online. Kids going there seeing that. Little girls seeing women doing porn, doing OnlyFans. This OnlyFans model, she she did a uh, this porn star. She a porn star. She did a only uh she did a uh, um interview. And she said she was in the Walmart, I think she said, or the Target. One of them two. And she was walking through the aisle. And she said that this this little girl noticed her. A little girl. She said she's probably a teenager, 13, 14. And she said that, that the little girl noticed her. She was like, aren't you such and such from... And she was happy about it. The porn star woman, she was happy about it. She was liking it too. She was like, wow. Because in her mind, she, she famous. In her mind, she famous. But you but she don't know is that she causing somebody to stumble. She promoting wickedness. She's showing that little girl. Hey. If you want some attention, you want to get you some money, this is the road, this is the route that you need to take. That's what she was showing that little girl. Not once did she tell that little girl, hey, what I'm doing is is bad. Don't do what I do in, in life. Stay in school, get your education, do all of that, anything, all of that. No, she just told the little girl, hey, get your money. Get it how you get it. Don't care what nobody say. Get it how you get it. Yeah, don't care what nobody say. But at the same time, make sure what you're doing is righteousness. It's, it's helping people, not hurting them. We got kids that I just heard about. And this is the story that this is what really made me want to make this video. If you're still here, thank you for watching the video. Um, ain't going to be too much longer. Let's, let's keep going on it. But I just heard the story of this little boy. He went to school. This happened like a month ago. He went to school. And they were checking everybody's bags. Like doing checking checking the students' bags and stuff. And they found the little boy had a knife in his bag. They looked like a, a long knife or something like that from, from his uh, parents' kitchen. And the teachers asked him, they like they all asked him like why why do you have a knife here? Why are you carrying this knife? He said, I want to be like Chucky. Chucky. Anybody who don't know who what Chucky is, Chucky is that little evil, wicked doll baby. It's a doll baby who's supposed to be a human for real. And he's going on the killing spree. Looking for a box. I mean, look oh goodness. Speaking of Chucky, that's that's a that's actually a meaning behind that. I'm going to do a video on, on Chucky. But basically, he's a doll baby who has a wife and have a son. And he's going around killing people. And the reason that he's killing people is 
He's looking for a body. He's looking for a body. Not about to get into full detail about it because I'm going to make a video on that to wake people up. But Chucky is an evil, it's basically a, a horror movie. A lot of killing in it, a lot of blood, a lot of no good stuff happening in that movie. And that little boy carried that knife to school and wanted to, he said that it, what he told him was he wanted to be like Chucky. I wanted to stab my, my teacher in her chest. And stab the other students like like Chucky. What the hell is wrong with that? It's a lot wrong with it. The parents ought to be ashamed of themselves for allowing him to look at that stuff. My mother ain't never let us growing up. My mama ain't never let us uh, watch those scary movies. My mama ain't never let us listen to this to no rap music. Streetlights came on. Get your get your ASS in the house. Ain't no, uh, Billy, come in the house. Oh, Sarah, where are you? Come in the house. No, nah, my mom said, boy, get your ass in this house. Y'all know it's dark outside. Yeah, that, that was my mom. My mom, hey, she ain't care. My mother is a real mother. But these mothers out here nowadays? Oh, goodness. They need as much prayer as you can think of. Because they they don't have no guidance their self. They and, and a lot of them have daughters. And they, they wearing anything. See through. Too tight. Too short. Cleave is showing. Titty showing. Nipples showing. Everything showing. And they showing their little daughter. This is how you should dress. Dress like this if you want a sugar daddy. Find you a rich man. Dudes showing their sons and stuff. It's all right to be a game banger. Sell drugs and stuff. It's sad what's going on. And with that little boy doing that. Goes to show you. Parents ain't paying too much attention to him. Or parents probably watching it. And they allowing him to watch it too. That That really woke me up. Because if I ever have kids in this life. I ain't ever letting them watch no scary movies. You ain't watching no scary movies. You ain't going to no no house party. You you can go to a party with your friends and stuff, but you ain't going to no house party. If it's a house party, you ain't going to it. No. Because a lot of sex be going on with these kids. That's why a lot of teenagers are getting pregnant with these house parties. Hanging out with their friends, lying to the parents. Lying to them. Nah. If you a minor, I need to hear from your parents too. Uh, I need confirmation from your parents that they know where you're going to be at too. You ain't going there. You ain't going to no house party. You ain't hanging with no with no no boy by yourself. And you ain't, uh, if I have sons, you ain't hanging with no no females by yourself until you get grown. Till you get 18 years old. Then when you hit 18, you do your own thing. You make your own choices. But I can guide you and tell you, teach you what to do in life, go down the right path, tell you the dangers of life. But if you're going to do your own thing, if you're going to make that that choice to have kids when you're not ready, having sex when you're not when you're not ready, then that's that's up to you. When, when you hit 18, that's up to you. That's your choice. You're a grown man now. You're a grown woman now. But it's our job, if you're a parent, it's your job for all you parents to teach your kids the right stuff. Don't let them watch those scary movies. That little boy could have killed somebody in that school. Now, what if they, they wasn't doing backpack checks? And that little boy, he probably forgot about the, um, he, he, probably, he probably forgot that he even put the knife in there. It probably ran his mind in the morning time, but when he got to school, he probably forgot all about it. Probably seen some friends and stuff. Probably went to breakfast or lunch or something and forgot all about the knife. And then somebody did a backpack check. Oh, Billy, why you, why you, Billy, Billy, what, what, what the hell you got going on, Billy? What the hell are you doing with this knife, Billy? <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Now, what if, what if he would have took that knife out and went on a stabbing spree? Stab, stab somebody else who made him mad. 
parents getting locked up and the little boy going somewhere, wherever. But parents is getting locked up. They, they getting in trouble for that. Satan is after the children, y'all. That devil is after the children. You got to be careful. You got to watch what your kids is doing. You got to. You got to watch you got to watch what your kids are doing. You cannot be letting your kids be out here just doing stupid stuff. Be out here doing whatever. You cannot let your kids be doing that. But sad to say more more people and kids are going to be losing their lives because they have no guidance. The rappers is promoting them to is pushing for them to go out here and kill and go go kill, go be a gang member, drug dealer. Movies is promoting it. The athletes ain't they don't really care. The athletes just care about their money. That's it. So who got guidance? Who who's guiding these kids? Charles White ain't no ain't no good children leader either. I think Charleston White is a freaking hypocrite. I think Charleston White needs to sit down somewhere. Uh, 50% of stuff that he say is true. The other 50%, he don't know what the hell he's talking about. And I say that out of love. I like Charleston White. But I think some stuff he just needs to keep his mouth shut to. Because he have no idea what he's talking about for some stuff. You know, Not saying that I know everything. I'm not saying that. But some of the stuff that Charleston White say... I mean, I can I can get facts to say that what, what he's saying is not right. I can have facts. I got facts for it, for the stuff that I disagree with him on. But Charles White ain't no good children's leader. He he going on there telling kids what not to do in these little meetings, but then he going on the internet and telling people he he raped white women. He said he he will he be he be thinking about raping a white woman. I mean, this is what Charles White is saying, and knowing that, how do you how do you think that you got to that point, Charleston, to where you can be sitting in them classrooms talking to children? Don't you know that they watch you on the internet first, and then see you in person, or see you in person and then go watch you on the internet, and they hear you saying that you you rape white women? What the hell is wrong with that dude? Smoking weed online, calling the, uh, you know, uh, going bothering people, showing guns in the live. I'm not, I'm not against guns, cause I'm about to get me one. But, the, but, what I'm trying to say is he's not a good role model, and these kids need somebody to look up to. That's why his parents got to do better. So that's all I had to say, y'all. Like, comment, subscribe for my channel. I love all of y'all. Thank y'all for the support. Um, I appreciate all the the love, y'all. Even even the haters, I appreciate you. I love you. Um, cause you you took the time out of your day to watch my video, and you know, to to comment on it. You know, to show me that you watching. To show me that you you appreciate. Um, my my truth coming out, even though you disagreeing with it, you st you know. Thank you for the support. But like, comment, subscribe. I'm out. Peace.